Hi everyone, this is Marta Judith from Radiant Divine Frequencies. How are you? I'm an intuitive angelic channel. I am an energy healer and I work primarily with the frequency of Archangel Metatron. He is my main guide. And uh, today I am here to bring forth his messages and guidance for the month of October 2019. Uh, today is September the 30th, but I wanted to go ahead and make the video uh, one day in advance uh, just before because my schedule uh, permits, it, permits it this way. And uh, yeah, so before I started recording, I drew a few cards for us because I was picking up on a lot of hesitation and fear so as i said today on the calendar we know time is not linear and because we're just tapping into the energy of october as if we were already there um you know we're there but i want to honor the fact that today is still september because as i was tapping into and sitting for preparing to do this video i a lot of um resistance, hesitation, and distraction kept coming up. And I was just wondering uh, what that was all about. So I sat down and just, first I needed to ground myself. So um, I actually am going to invite you to go through the motions of this with me as I bring you to the moment here, uh, because I think there's uh, a message even with that right now. So if you could just uh, take a deep breath in, put, your, put and feel your feet on the ground, and just allow for your root chakra to relax, for the energy to just, from the root chakra, start sensing uh, the energy that Archangel Metatron is uh, aiding uh, you right now to just swiftly move through your thighs to your knees, down to your ankles, feeling your feet, and um, witnessing just the light connecting to your Earth Star Chakra. So allowing the light to just ground you and allowing for the energy that is um, here already ascension energy to also nourish you as you ground as you just are conscious of your breath and in the moment where you're at right now and let's allow ourselves to release any resistance any fear any distractions and we'll talk about those right now Okay, so now that uh, I felt a little more grounded, so I, I was wondering what that fear was about. So up to right now, up to this um, moment, uh, during the year, or at least uh, through the summer months, um, not even the summer months, I'm just going to say through the year, there has been a lot of shedding going on, a lot of things that have come to the surface for us to acknowledge in our lives uh, things that are not very functional for us anymore, it be it people, be it places, be it relationships, circumstances, uh, behaviors, whatever it is for you. Um, time and time again, things have been just showing up for us to um, to just let go of. Um, many of us have done the work of letting go or are still in the process of letting go don't you ever worry you're always where you're supposed to be at any given moment and any given time it's not like oh no i didn't do it and i'm out of the you know of my stepping into my life it's nothing like that but um what i'm trying to say is that we're in into stepping we're going to be stepping into in the following months more and more into our own light into our own uh destiny places people circumstances and we quite not know what that looks like or what that is just because we've shed a lot of things people in places and circumstances and behaviors that were just not working for our highest good anymore uh, and although we've done the work of letting go there's still a lot of fear and this was the card before i shuffled um I'm sorry, before I started the, the recording, I shuffled, and this was the first card that came forth. 
And yeah, it was just a confirmation that uh, we are, there was a little bit of fear. So if you uh, continue to feel hesitation, although new beginnings are exciting, there could be some fear because we don't know what uh, the new will look like. So just allow yourself to let that fear go. Ask our Archangel Metatron to just uh, take it from your body, take it from your feels, and you just see it just uh, being removed from your bodies, from your fields, uh, and just give it uh, to him, to the light, for it to be dissolved and transmuted into whatever energy is needed in the universe for the highest good of all you know you don't need to worry about where that's going or you know it's always serving a higher purpose so the important thing is just to allow yourself to feel that feeling but also remind yourself that you can always let that go you don't have to step into the new with fear so just allow yourself to um, release that into the light and the, actually the two cards that came right after that were um the energies of Hilarion and Isis. And uh, Hilarion, of course, with the beautiful gem in the heart space. Emerald, I want to say. And uh, it just says, honor your sensitivity, retreat to recharge and heal, and your light can support others. So although uh, you are fearful or you were, well, not, no, you were experiencing fear. That doesn't make you fearful. So fear came up. Just acknowledge it and just let it go. Ask the, uh, the archangels, the ascended masters, whoever it is that you resonate uh, in the higher spheres. Just remember to do it through the energy of your unconditional love. Um, just to let that go. And as that is leaving your space, allow the energy of restoration, even if you're not stepping into the new quite yet, just allow for your fields to be nourished and replenished right now. So just breathe in into your heart, into your bodies, into your fields, just allow for the green light that is always restorative and balancing. <sighs> to infuse all of your all of your cells so you can work with the with the energy of the green ray and i'm just looking out right now because i'm sitting in front of the window and there's this uh, beautiful um vista of trees in front of me so i'm drawing in that energy and sending it to you but it's as simple as just closing your eyes taking a deep breath in and just imagining the wave of green energy starting to swirl within your bodies and your fields, nourishing your cells. I'm actually seeing like a blanket of green light, very cozy, just, um, just wrapping yourself around that. It's quite a large blanket, but very cozy, very comforting. Just allow that green ray to envelop you right now within and without. So as the fearful energy is leaving your body or has left your feels, just allow for the energy of Hilarion, Archangel Raphael, and just the green ray to nourish your heart right now, invigorating you, but most importantly, just balancing your bodies and your feels right now from your crown to your feet, every muscle, every bone, every tissue, every cell, every atom in your bodies, allowing that to swirl through your chakra system, reaching to your extended chakra system which is uh, the chakras outside of your body. So upwards to, to your, um, your crown, your crown star, your soul star, your solar star, your stellar gateway, creating like a hood of you know, like a hood of uh, the green energy and below your feet, reaching all the way to your earth star chakra, 
creating a cocoon of energy around you. And with the card of Valerian, as I was saying, as you continue to just imagine yourself, much as you do when, uh, you know, being on a comfy nook uh, on a chilly day, just as you continue to listen, just leave that blanket surrounding you so it can keep uh, feeding your bodies and your fields. So as we do that, I also want to uh, share with you the card of Isis and it's magic manifesting. So, um, it's this beautiful card. And uh, what the uh, card here says is your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. So how interesting uh, it is as we're stepping into October to just allow ourselves to release the fear. It's okay to uh, honor the sensitivity to that feeling, just because we are a feeling and emotion is rising up to the surface, we don't have to uh, overly identify with it. It's just an emotion and as such, we let it go. More importantly, we allow our bodies and our fields to be nourished and enhanced because that vibration that we're sending out is what is going to be aligned to our reality. So that's how we create things, whatever we're thinking in our conscious and subconscious mind is the experiences that we're gonna start uh, creating around us. So it's important to stay focused on the newness, on the, the goals, the higher uh, vision of, of our higher self that it is that we want to experience in the world right now. And as we go from letting go of the old and letting go of the resistance and the fear and allowing for the new to come in, there's this bridge energy of just letting go of the past, looking towards the new and just allowing our fields, ourselves to be replenished. Okay, so that was just to begin, uh, even before we began today, a little uh, nudge from Metatron to say, all is well, it's okay, uh, nothing is lost. Although we are moving from one set of things to another, those experiences are not lost, uh, but it's time to go in and heed the new. Okay, we have, oh, this is the first card, and this is from the hero's journey, as I was just shuffling right now to actually look into the month of October, um, because those three cards were more like um, stepping into October. So now we're, we're going to be uh, talking about October itself. And this is the card of Afterglow. And it says, land gracefully. So what I'm guided to uh, in this card is that being there, that being angelic, it seems like it, and it seems like it's each and every one of us. And it's that um, feeling, sensation that, okay, we've, we're, we're accepted the invitation and we've stepped into the unknown. It kind of reminds me of that uh, card in the, the tarot deck of the fool, which is uh, that uh, person kind of taking that step into the unknown, which is what we were talking about a moment ago. Uh, and just uh, opening your wings and knowing, knowing that you will land gracefully. Wherever it is that you're going to be landing, just allow yourself to honor your sensitivity and to just let go uh, if more fear arises, but more importantly, keep connecting to the light that's already there, that you already are. Um, and that's the glow. That's the glow. That's the afterglow from all that sweating of letting go of things up to now. And I'm not saying we won't keep shedding because that's life. Uh, it's in a circle, eternal cycle of growth and then shed and death and then growth again. I mean, the seasons, that's what they teach us, right? But right now, it's just this glow of uh, yeah, we're stepping into and landing gracefully into 
um, our new path. Okay. So let's see what else for the month of October. Okay. North Star. And again, the green ray. As I was saying right now, this light that is uh, replenishing you, it's, that's who you are, that's already within you. So this North Star, it says here, flip your inner light switch. And that's pretty much what we're doing. Getting, reminding ourselves, getting used to our own uh, vibration of pure unconditional love what, that's already within us and our higher self that will guide us uh, to where it is that we're that we're uh, stepping into uh, and that we want to create an experience in this next phase of our life okay so that goes here okay and and just to okay so i have a 19 here let me see if you can see Okay, 19, and you know, nine and one is 10, and we are stepping into month number 10. So that's very interesting too. Okay, let's see what else might have come, please. Okay, there's the card. I just wanna, well, let me just, okay. You see that? All right, there. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> and speaking of numbers, number nine, which is nine, uh, the ninth month here uh, still today. And it says you are invited, suit up, show up, and open up. Okay, you're invited uh, towards your new uh, path. I mean, it is the same path but it's just a new set of experiences and opportunities for you to be creative in, in the world, which is all that we are here to do. Just experience the world uh, through our creativity, through uh, whatever it is that we're creating, hopefully aligned to uh, our highest um, possible version of uh, energy that we can express in our life here in the world and that's all it is it's an invitation because in the end it is each and every one of us who has to step into that and create that right it's not just about it's not just about um imagine uh, using our imagination that's a part of it for sure how interesting that the colors even kind of echo each other, even in this card. Let me just show you that. I don't know, you know, color always. So we're working with green. But here, uh, yes, you are invited. You know, your dreams are here for you, um, waiting for you to um, open yourself up to the blessings the gifts, uh, the people, the places that will assist you in bringing those into reality. So that's why it's important to stay focused. Stay focused on your higher vibration, your higher frequency, um, and, and, and create from that space. It's not quite the time to create. We're still in the, mid, in the middle of the flight. So things are still shuffling around for the new to show up fully into your life because again, we're all interdependent. So everybody's new positions are being kind of, you know, the board is being rearranged. So we're in the middle of that shuffle right now. Uh, and there's a little bit of patience that needs to be... Um, uh, just patience. <laughs> Looks like I have a problem with patience. So. Now, just be patient with the fact that, you know, it's it's a, a matrix that has to work for everyone, not just for us individually. Uh, but 
but it's coming and you are invited. So uh, as this card says, suit up, show up and open up. And how do you do that? By just reminding yourself of who you already are. Just allow for your reality on a day-to-day, -day, moment to moment experience to be anything that you do, it's aligned to your um, higher, highest self, divine self, right? I did a post uh, over the weekend and it's just a reminder, you know, I am divine light, I am divine love, I am uh, divine chalice, I am divine channel, I am divine. So just keep repeating yourself, reminding yourself of who you truly are. Okay, Metatron. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, there's quite a few. So let me just go ahead because we only need two more. Two more. So just to recap up to right now, if there's fear lingering or a bubbling up, it's fine. Honor your sensitivity. Release it into the light. Work with your higher self. Work with your guides with uh, the archangels with the ascended masters to let that go as you ground yourself allow them to envelop you in this beautiful green energy uh of because energy is very balanced uh, green is very balancing and harmonizing so just allow that to uh, feed all of your bodies and your fields and as you do that you also allow yourself to refocus into what it is that you're uh, bringing forth uh, just, you know, your heart's desire, allow it to just bubble up and know that we're in that transition right now, that you are invited, that the universe didn't forget you or leave you behind, that you are counted and accounted for, but that we also need to, uh, you know, be patient because like I said, I, it's like this board, this matrix, and everybody, because we've all gone through and closed certain uh, stories uh, in our life, and we're all being moved right now. So, you know, we just need some patience for all the, the players and the game of life to be rearranged for us to uh, healthy, um, in a healthy way, be the interdependent beings that we are and assist each other in co-creating a higher version of uh, experiences in our world okay so metatron anything else three more cards please thinking of the month of october there's the first one eyes on the prize again eyes on the prize so just because in this particular moment you're not seeing what you wish you would be seeing so let's say now we let go of the fear and we're like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm focused. I'm focused. I want my dreams, my visions, and my goals to start manifesting. Yes, keep the eye on the prize. Wow, trust the guidance of your North North Star. And we got the card of North, North Star here. So just eyes on the prize with patience. Nothing is lost. You're not forgotten. You know, you're not left behind. You didn't make a wrong turn. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Even if you're not leaving, uh, living your wildest dreams right now. <laughs> okay, we're still, we're still here. We're still here in the middle of, you know, land, not, you know, we've leaped, not quite landed yet. We're, we're in the transition, but it's coming. You know, the opportunity for you to completely close and let go of the things that no longer serve your highest good and the opportunities uh, shown in your life as, as people, places, and circumstances for you to uh, create the new, it's coming. Um, and every moment is an opportunity for you to do that. And the way, you know, it's not like we're also... It's not like we have, I mean, this is, feels a little bit contradicted. It's not like we just have to be sitting around waiting for things to happen. But there's some patience that we have to practice because it's not just our life that's being rearranged. It's pretty much, like I said, a matrix of rearrangement. So long as you continue to keep focus, eye on the price. And 
on your North Star, you know, checking in with yourself every day and feeding your heart and feeding your your mind uh, and stepping into and doing, you know, that's that's how we're going to move from one uh, place to another. But I'm still getting the, the feeling of, um, yes, do that because, you know, life is not just to be uh, sitting around waiting for things to happen for us as we as we take the steps to align ourselves and uh and step into the new i mean what i i'm, I'm seeing all the cards here and it's all about staying focused about uh being aware of our own light keeping the eyes on the prize but then this this card here of we've leaped but we're not landed yet. So patience. Okay. Megatron. Okay. okay. Don't want to make this video too long. Okay. Thank you. So again, attend to the simple things. Attend to the simple things. So yes, we're in transition. Keep the eyes on the price. And as I said a moment ago, you're not just to, you know, sit and just wait for things to happen. There is things that, you know, actions that we need to take. But right now, the actions are just attend to simple things. Attend to simple things. Take it easy. Be patient. Let's give everybody time to take their new positions. Um, we're waiting on people and people are waiting on us. You know, we just need to be patient in that sense and trust, trust that uh, all is as it should be. Feed ourselves with uh, the light of the divine. Remind ourselves that we're already that. And just, you know, uh, build on the excitement of the newness. Okay, go. Oh. Build and breaks, sound, saunter slowly. So the light is there. We just need to bask on it. Know that everything is well. See, this person is not worried that um, they've somehow missed it. No, it's uh, all is as it should be. So this is a month for just um, building ourselves uh, up. As we have done quite a bit of shedding, uh, any remnants of fear, any remnants of, um, or as we continue to shed, if this continues to pop up, just allow that to go by grounding, by immediately uh, reconnecting ourselves to the light that we already are, because that's where our highest dreams are held for us. And just know that, um, yeah, it's a transition. It's a transition that uh, as you continue to keep focus, your focus on what it is that you want to create and manifest in the world, um, the universe wants to bring to you the best uh, opportunities possible. And that's going to need to uh, require some patience from us, again, for everybody to be where they're supposed to be, uh, including us for other people, because we are uh, interdependent. And in the meantime, just attend to the simple things. Uh, start creating new routines that support you, that support your highest good, that support your highest vision. Um, with Again, with all the things that we have let go, there are things that you uh, have Control over. Um, control is not a word that I usually like to use because in the end, control is kind of an illusion. But, you know, there are routines that you can put in place to nourish yourself um, that will support for you to have the strength physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually for the new to come. Okay. So, um, yeah, take time. Take time to... 
to sit with yourself and see what that is for you. Okay, S sit with yourself and see what that is for you. Okay, one last card. And two came out. You hold the key to an awakened life, set yourself free. So if there's still anything that you're hesitating on letting go, there's an invitation here again that you have the power, you have the, the last word because of free will to actually uh, step into the light and align yourself with the light. And that's exactly what we have here. Become the elixir, let your glow do the heavy lifting. So right now, right now you just um, align yourself to the light that you already are. You align, that's, that's what's going to pour forth from you. Uh, so align yourself to that. Align yourself, uh, remind yourself, you know, I am love, I am light, I am divine. And feed yourself that so you can create from that space when uh, you land, when you, we all land, okay? All right, everyone, I'm gonna leave it uh, there for right now. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that I will be back uh, later in the month just with, a, with an update. I know we have, um, well, it's a lot of energy. Uh, and every month, as we know, there are gateways. Um, of course, we're going stepping into month number 10. So there's a 10-10 gateway that's coming up. Uh, but for now, I'll just leave it on this overview of the month. And, you know, eyes on the prize. You're invited. You're counted and accounted for. No one, you know, is left behind. Just allow yourself to tap in. Build in breaks. Keep it simple. Start creating new structures that support you. And remind yourself that you hold the key uh, and that you already are uh, the elixir that you will be sharing for all of us as you create, create your new experiences in the world. Okay, uh, so feel free to reach out if you have any questions or comments. I would love to hear what you think of uh, this session. And if there's anything else that you picked up uh, while I was going through the cards, feel free also to share that. Um, my website is radiantdivinefrequencies.com if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one session. Facebook page, Radiant Divine Frequencies. And uh, so you can reach through any of those uh, if, if you need to do so. Okay, uh, for now I'm sending you much love and I wish for you an amazing, amazing October. Okay, bye everyone.